Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti and you are watching my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In the video lecture series on enzyme, today let's study about isoenzymes and alloenzymes. This topic is important for short answer question as well as long answer question. At the end of this session, students shall be able to define isoenzymes, write examples of isoenzymes and explain the diagnostic importance of isoenzymes of lactate dehydrogenase, creatine kinase and alkaline phosphatase. In addition to that, students shall be able to define alloenzymes and mention any one example of alloenzyme. Isoenzymes are also called as isozymes. And these isoenzymes, they are the multiple forms of the same enzyme. Same enzyme, it exists in multiple forms. But all the isoenzymes, they catalyze same chemical reaction. And they differ in their primary structure and kinetic properties. They are encoded by different genes located at different loci. And these isoenzymes, they show different chemical and physical properties like electrophoretic mobility, kinetic properties and they are also having different amino acid sequence and composition. So the isoenzymes are physically different forms of the same enzyme catalyzing same chemical reactions and they are synthesized from various tissues. And it is to be noted that not all enzymes have isoenzymes. In fact, only those enzymes which are polymeric, they have isoenzymes. There are various examples of isoenzymes. So the first example is the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase which catalyzes the reaction that is conversion of pyruvate to lactate and it is the reversible reaction. Lactate dehydrogenase has five isoenzymes right from LDH1 to LDH5 and they differ in their electrophoretic mobility. Alkaline phosphatase. Phosphatase means this enzyme involves in the removal of phosphate group in the alkaline medium and this alkaline phosphatase has six isoenzymes. Alpha 1 which is present in the biliary canaliculi. Alpha 2 has two uh, isoenzymes. One is heat stable which is located in the placenta. Heat labile. Alpha 2 is present in the liver. Pre beta present in bone. Gamma is present in intestine and the sixth one is ducoside associated alkaline phosphatase. Then creatine kinase. Creatine kinase has three isoenzymes CK1, CK2 and CK3 and uh, this creatine kinase catalyze all the isoenzyme catalyze the same reaction that is interconversion of creatine to creatine phosphate. And amylase. Amylase it has two enzymes salivary amylase and pancreatic amylase. The other example is hexokinase and glucokinase. So these are the various examples of isoenzymes. Isoenzymes and alloenzymes are different. Isoenzymes are the product of different genes and they are called as true isoenzymes. And these genes may be located on different chromosomes. For example, salivary and pancreatic amylase. LDH has 5 isoenzymes. LDH1 to LDH5 and they are present in the different tissues but all forms of LDH isoenzymes means all the five isoenzymes are present in the same individual. There is one more term isoforms. So what is isoform? The different forms of enzyme due to post translational modification. So after the enzyme is synthesized there is post translational modification and due to that post translational modification there are different isoforms of that enzyme. For example alkaline phosphatase has six isoenzyme due to the silic acid content and that's why they are called as six isoforms of alkaline phosphatase and all the forms are present in the same individual. Now let's see how alloenzymes are different from isoenzymes. So the alloenzymes there are there is same locus of gene but alleles are different. So alloenzymes they are coded by different alleles at the same locus. Only one form is present in one individual. For example, if any enzyme has different forms, so out of all the forms, only one form is present in the one individual. Contrary to the isoenzyme where all the forms are present in the one individual. Here only one form is present in one individual but all forms are seen in total population. 
For example, the enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, it has yellow enzymes. Do you remember this enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase? Take a pause and think about it. This enzyme is very important in one of the metabolic pathway of carbohydrate metabolism. Yes, this is the enzyme of HMP pathway. It is the regulatory enzyme of hexose monophosphate shunt. So this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, it has different alloenzymes. Over 400 allylic variants of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase have been identified and all of them are produced by the same locus on X chromosome. The World Health Organization classifies these G6PD genetic variants into five classes according to level of enzyme activity in the red cells. Class 1, there is enzyme deficiency with chronic non-spirocytic hemolytic anemia. Class 2, there is severe enzyme deficiency with less than 10% of normal activity. Class 3, there is moderate to mild enzyme deficiency with 10 to 60% of normal activity. Class 4, there is very mild or no enzyme deficiency with 60% of normal activity. And class 5, there is increased enzyme activity. Isoenzymes have different properties and based on those properties, isoenzymes can be identified. The electrophoretic mobility for different isoenzymes of LDH and creatine kinase is different. Heat stability is also different. For example, alpha-2 alkaline phosphatase, it has two variants like one is present in the placenta which is heat stable and the one which is present in liver is heat labile. Glucokinase is insensitive to its product that is glucose 6-phosphate. So, it is not inhibited by glucose 6-phosphate while exokinase it is sensitive to glucose 6-phosphate means it is inhibited by glucose 6 phosphate. The KM value is different for different isoenzyme. For example, glucokinase has high KM for glucose while hexokinase has low KM for glucose. Different isoenzymes require different cofactors. For example, the mitochondrial variant of isocitrate dehydrogenase, it requires NAD as cofactor while cytoplasmic isocitrate dehydrogenase require NADP as cofactor. The tissue localization is also different for different isoenzymes. For example, amylase. There are two isoenzymes. One is present in the saliva, salivary amylase and other is the pancreatic amylase. LDH1 is present in heart. LDH5 is present in skeletal muscle. And isocitrate dehydrogenase, one isoenzyme is present in mitochondria while the other is present in cytoplasm. Isoenzymes also uh, means specific antibodies also identify different types of isoenzymes. CK isoenzymes are separated by different antibodies. So based on the, these properties of isoenzymes, the different isoenzymes can be identified. Now let's see the isoenzymes of lactate dehydrogenase. This enzyme LDH, it catalyzes which reaction? The reaction that converts pyruvate to lactate or lactate to pyruvate. So this reaction is reversible. And this reaction also requires NAD. So there is interconversion of NAD to NADH. And this is the tetrameric enzyme. Tetrameric means it has four subunits and it is made up of two types of polypeptide. H that is heart type, M that is muscle type. And only polymeric forms are active. Individual subunit is inactive. So there are five isoenzymes of LDH based on its uh, electrophoretic mobility. So imagine this is a cathode, this is anode, this is point of application where serum is applied. So on the basis of serum electrophoresis, there are five isoenzymes. So the first is LDH1. It has fastest mobility towards the anode. It has four subunits, but all are H type of subunits. So it is also called as H4. LDH1 is H4. Then LDH2. So mobility is slower as compared to LDH1 and LDH2 has a 3H subunit and 1M subunit. So it is H3M. LDH2 is H3M. Then comes LDH3. 
3 ldh3 has 2h subunit and 2m subunit so ldh3 is h2m2 then ldh4 ldh4 has 1h subunit and 3m subunit so it is h1m3 then comes ldh5 which has lowest electrophoretic mobility and it has all sub m subunit so it is m4 so ldh5 is m4 so now we know that ldh1 is h4 ldh2 is h3 m1 ldh3 is h2 m2 ldh4 is h1 m3 and ldh5 is m4 now let's see various properties of isoenzymes of ldh we know that there are five isoenzymes so do you remember the subunit makeup of uh, ldh1 so how many h subunits are there in the ldh1 all four subunits are h type so it is h4 ldh2 it is h3 m1 what about ldh3 how many h and how many m h2 m2 ldh4 h1 m3 and ldh5 all m so m4 now about the electrophoretic mobility at ph 8.6 so which one is the fastest moving isoenzyme of ldh towards the anode it is ldh1 that is h4 and the slowest moving is ldh5 now what is the activity at 60 degree centigrade for 30 minutes whether the activity is destroyed or not so the activity of ldh1 and ldh2 is not destroyed at 60 degree centigrade for 30 minutes it is partially destroyed for ldh3 and ldh4 and ldh5 they are destroyed the activity is destroyed now what is the tissue of origin so h4 h denotes heart so it is present predominantly in heart ldh1 is present in the myocardium that is heart ldh2 is predominantly present in rbc ldh3 in brain ldh4 in liver and ldh5 all subunits are m type so m for muscle so ldh5 is present in skeletal muscle so please remember ldh1 it is present in the heart that is myocardium and ldh5 in the skeletal muscle now what is the percentage in human serum so ldh1 30% ldh2 35% so ldh2 is more than ldh1 ldh3 20% ldh4 10% and ldh5 is 5% so these are the various differences in the isoenzymes of ldh so which is the fastest moving ldh towards the anode it is ldh1 then which is the slowest moving ldh towards the anode it is ldh5 then which is the predominant ldh in the cardiac muscle it is ldh1 and the most abundant ldh in the skeletal muscle is ldh5 so this is all about isoenzymes of ldh coming to the clinical significance of ldh the normal reference range of ldh in serum is 100 to 200 units per liter but it may be different for different kits and we know that there are five isoenzymes of ldh and ldh1 that is h4 is present in the myocardium uh, that is heart and the percentage of h3m1 that is ldh2 is more as compared to ldh1 so normally that ldh uh, 2 is more than ldh 1 but in the myocardial infarction there is increased concentration of ldh 1 as compared to ldh 2 so this is reversed and this is called as flip pattern so flip pattern is seen in the myocardial infarction so there is increased level of ldh uh, by 6 to 12 hours after myocardial infarction it uh, starts to increase very late that is by 6 to 12 hours the peak is reached at 24 to 48 hours after myocardial infarction and it comes back to its original level by 6 to 8 days 
The LDH is also increased in the megaloblastic anemia, particularly LDH1 and LDH2. It is also increased if there is a hemolysis. LDH level is 100 times more inside the RBC than in plasma. So if there is hemolysis, there is always increase in the LDH level. In conditions of muscular dystrophy, there is moderate increase in the LDH5 and in the liver disease also, the uh, increase in the LDH5 is seen. So as this LDH is increased in various conditions and the increase in LDH uh, after myocardial infarction is very late, that is by 6 to 12 hours after myocardial infarction, nowadays it is not used as cardiac marker. Now let's see the isoenzymes of creatine kinase. It catalyzes the reaction that is conversion of creatine to creatine phosphate. So this reaction is catalyzed by creatine kinase. All the isoenzymes of creatine kinase catalyze the same reaction where creatine is phosphorylated to creatine phosphate and ATP is the phosphate donor. Creatine kinase is dimeric enzyme. It has two types of polypeptide. B that is brain type. M that is muscle type. So there are three isoenzymes. CK1 that is creatine kinase 1. Creatine kinase 2. Creatine kinase 3. What is the subunit composition? CK1 it is composed of two subunits that is BB, both are brain type. So it is CKBB. Creatine kinase 2, it has one B type subunit and other is M type subunit. So CKMB. Then creatine kinase 3 is CKMM. It has both M type subunit. The electrophoretic mobility is the fastest for CK1 and slowest for CK3. Tissue of origin, CK1, that is CKBB. B e for brain. So the tissue of origin is brain. CKBB for brain. CKMB. M for muscle. That is myocardium. M for myo and B for brain. So it consists of both subunits. M and B. So it is present in the myocardium. CKMM. M for muscle. So MM is present in the skeletal muscle. CK3. It is uh, present in blood in 90% concentration, while CK1 is 1 to 5% and CK2 is 5 to 9%. CKBB, it is increased in any neurological injury or it is increased in the very low birth weight newborn. CKMB, it is increased in the myocardial infarction and CKMM, it is increased in the myopathy or muscular dystrophy. The normal reference range for total CK in males it is 15 to 100 units per liter. In female it is 10 to 80 units per liter. The CK value in serum is increased in myocardial infarction and it starts to rise within 3 to 6 hours of infarction. Therefore, its estimation is very useful to detect the early cases. So, this is the diagnostic importance of uh, isoenzyme of creatine kinase. That is CKMB, it is increased in the myocardial infarction. CKMM is increased in the myopathy or muscular dystrophy. Now let's see the isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase. This enzyme alkaline phosphatase, it is the non-specific enzyme. It is localized on the outer surface of a cell membrane. That's why it is called as ectoenzyme. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of organic phosphate esters present in the extracellular space and that's why it is phosphatase. It acts in the alkaline pH between 9 and 10. That is its optimum pH and that's why it is the alkaline phosphatase. It is activated by manganese and magnesium and zinc is the constituent of this enzyme alkaline phosphatase. So this alkaline phosphatase has six isoenzymes. Alpha 1 alkaline phosphatase, alpha 2 heat stable alkaline phosphatase, alpha 2 heat labile alkaline phosphatase, pre beta alkaline phosphatase, gamma alkaline phosphatase and leukocyte associated alkaline phosphatase. Now what is the activity at 65 degree centigrade for 30 minutes? So alpha 2 is heat stable and the activity of alpha 2 heat labile it is lost on 65 degree centigrade for 30 minutes. Uh, in case of 
pre beta the activity is lost at 56 degree centigrade for 10 minutes the effect of phenylalanine the alpha 2 heat stable it is inhibited by phenylalanine likewise the gamma alkaline phosphatase is also inhibited by phenylalanine what is the tissue of origin alpha 1 it is present in the epithelial cells of biliary canaliculi alpha 2 heat stable it is of placental origin alpha 2 heat labile l labile for liver so it is present in the hepatocytes pre beta alp b beta for bone so it is present in the bone gamma alkaline phosphatase present in the intestine and leukocyte associated alkaline phosphatase is present in leukocyte the mean percentage is given here so pre beta is present in 50 percent and alpha 1 10 percent alpha 2 heat stable 1 percent alpha 2 heat labile 25 percent gamma is 10 percent and leukocyte associated is 4 percent now let's see the clinical significance of isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase alpha 1 alkaline phosphatase as it is present uh, on the epithelial cells of biliary canaliculi so if there is biliary or bile duct obstruction in this condition this alkaline phosphatase is increased the increase in alkaline phosphatase will be 10 to 12 times more than the normal reference range and it occurs in obstructive jaundice hepatobiliary disease and extra hepatic obstruction alpha 2 isoenzyme is heat stable it is of placental origin so it is increased in the physiological condition that is pregnancy the regan isoenzyme it closely resembles placental form and it is increased in 15 percent cases of carcinoma lung liver and gut alpha 2 heat labile is present in the liver that is hepatocytes and it is increased in the uh, hepatic injury that is infectious hepatitis alcoholic hepatitis hepatocellular carcinoma but that increase will be two to three times of normal reference range normal reference range in adult is 40 to 125 international units per liter but it can be different if different kits are used pre beta alkaline phosphatase present in bone physiologically it is increased in the children 2.5 times more because of uh, increased osteoblastic activity and it is increased to up to 25 times of normal reference range that is drastically increased is seen in conditions like paget disease of bone bone cancer osteomalacia and rickets gamma alkaline phosphatase present in intestine so it is increased in the intestinal disorders like ulcer ulcerative colitis leukocyte associated alkaline phosphatase it is increased in lymphoma while it is decreased in chronic myeloid leukemia now let's summarize today's topic that is isoenzyme what is the definition of isoenzyme do you remember the definition yes try to remember it isoenzymes they are different forms of the same enzyme but they catalyze the same chemical reaction so the definition is isoenzymes are different forms of the enzyme catalyzing the same reaction are they coded by the same gene or different gene they are coded by different genes located at different loci so if they catalyze the same reaction how they are different from each other so they are different in their structure and their properties they have same ec number but they differ in the structure that is amino acid composition sequence they also differ in the electrophoretic mobility tissue localization is also different and they are also different in the km value now what are the various examples of isoenzymes so can you give me any four examples the first one is ldh it has five isoenzyme second creatine kinase it has three isoenzyme alkaline phosphatase it has six isoenzymes and amylase it has two isoenzyme so let's see the first that is ldh so it has five isoenzymes so they are different by their electrophoretic mobility so which is which has the fastest electrophoretic mobility out of ldh1 to ldh5 just think about it which one has highest electrophoretic mobility which moves to fastest towards the anode so that is the ldh1 it has the fastest electrophoretic mobility 
and LDH5 has the slowest electrophoretic mobility. Now we know that ki LDH is composed of two polypeptide units and it is a tetramer. So which are those polypeptide chain? H type and M type. H for heart, M for muscle. So just remember LDH1, all subunits, all four subunits are which type? H type or M type? Yes, they are of H type and H, they are present in the heart that is myocardium. Then LDH2, how many H and how many M subunits? 3H and 1M and it is present in the predominantly in the RBC. Then LDH3, how many H and how many M? H2, M2, predominantly present in brain. LDH4, H1, M3, present in liver. H5, all M, M4, it is present in skeletal muscle. Normally, the concentration of which isoenzyme is more? The concentration of LDH2 is more than LDH1. But what happens in the myocardial infarction? There is increase in LDH1 as compared to LDH2. So the pattern is changed. So this type of pattern is called as flipped pattern. So this flipped pattern is seen in myocardial infarction. So this LDH enzyme, is it specific enzyme? No, this is not specific enzyme because it is increased in various conditions. And the increase in myocardial infarction is also, it occurs after 6 to 12 hours of myocardial infarction. And that's why nowadays it is not used as cardiac marker. Now coming to the second isoenzyme, creatine kinase. So how many isoenzymes this creatine kinase has? It has three isoenzymes, CKBB, B stands for uh, brain and M for muscle. So it is a dimer. It has two subunit. So CKBB is CK1, CKMB is CK2, CKMM is CK3. So CKBB must be present where? In the brain and it will be increased in brain injury. CKMB both subunits M, 1M, 1B. So it is characteristic of myocardium. So MB is present in the myocardium so it will be increased in myocardial infarction that is the cardiac muscle so it will be increased in the cardiac muscle injury that is the myocardial infarction ckmm both m so this this is present in the skeletal muscle and it will be increased in muscular dystrophy and myopathies now coming to the third important isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase so how many isoenzymes does it have? It has six isoenzymes. So the first isoenzyme is alpha-1 alkaline phosphatase. It is present in the epithelial cells of biliary canaliculi. Now why, uh, why there is increase in the alkaline phosphatase in obstructive jaundice? Because in the obstructive jaundice, because of gallstone or carcinoma, CA, uh, head of uh, pancreas or any tumor, there is obstruction to the biliary duct and it causes irritation of epithelial cells and this alkaline phosphatase enzyme is an ectoenzyme present on the epithelial cell membrane. So because of that, there is increased level of alkaline phosphatase and this increase is up to 10 to 12 times of the normal reference range. So in case of obstructive jaundice, there is increased level of alkaline phosphatase and that increase is more than or it is up to 10 to 12 times of the normal reference range. Now second isoenzyme, first is alpha 1. So second will be alpha 2. Now remember alpha 2 has two variants. One is heat stable and other is heat labile. So heat stable is present in placenta. It is of placental origin. So physiologically it will be increased in the pregnancy. Now alpha 2 heat labile, L for liver. So it is present in the hepatocyte that is in the liver. So it will be increased in the conditions of hepatic injury, infectious hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis, 
cancer that is hepatocellular carcinoma the increase will be 2 to 3 times of the normal reference range so the increase in alkaline phosphatase in the hepatitis will be 2 to 3 times of the normal reference range so this is alpha 2 then there will be pre beta b for bone so the increase will be in the bone conditions bone diseases but physiologically also it can be increased in children that is 2 to 3 times of normal reference range because of increased osteoblastic activity but the increase in other bone conditions like paget disease a bone osteomalacia rickets bone cancer the increase is up to 10 to 25 times of normal reference range so this is pre beta then gamma gamma is present in the intestine so it is increased in ulcerative colitis and the sixth one is leukocyte associated alp it is present in leukocytes it is increased in lymphoma and it is decreased in the chronic myeloid leukemia. So this topic of isoenzyme is very important and mostly the question is uh, long answer question is also asked on this topic like define as isoenzyme, write the examples of isoenzymes and write the clinical significance of isoenzymes of LDH, CK and alkaline phosphatase. So I hope this video on isoenzymes will be useful to you. Thank you for watching and happy learning.